What's up guys? So I got that new soldering gun from Snap-on yesterday and used it on that Subaru and uh, just wanted to do a quick comparison on the old solder, Snap-on soldering gun I got or soldering iron that I got. Uh, I got a little rig set up. I actually, uh, I actually rigged up my tripod to uh, go up a little higher. So I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, just kind of measuring them. Um, seeing what's in the box, how they come, kind of the older version and the newer version. Um, I could kind of do this now with my hands free, with the tripod sitting in front of it. I actually uh, bolted a selfie stick onto the tripod, so now it's as tall as the box. It goes up. Um, I actually actually cut my finger while I was doing that, modifying this. I work on dangerous cars all day, and I heard myself doing something like this, but. Uh, I put some liquid band-aid on it and it's good to go um, swear by this stuff especially when you get a cut that's on a bend that liquid band-aid stuff uh, keeps the dirt out of it but uh, but yeah guys this is the box they come in this one's the older style one you guys seen these in a couple of my other videos YAKS 32A Great soldering gun. I've used it a dozen times or so. I got a plug-in style one too, but this one's pretty decent. It uses it uses a good amount of butane, but it gets the job done. I noticed uh, now that I got the newer one, this is what the, the outer box looks like of the newer one, YAKS42. Um, it actually heats up a lot faster, but you guys will see that. I'll get you guys set up. We'll run a quick uh, comparison on these two. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I got them all set up. Like I said, just a quick comparison. Um, here's the box of the older version it comes in. Plastic case. Open up. It's got about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little connectors. Really six and the little shield um, to heat up stickers and stuff like that. I noticed the newer one doesn't come with that. But uh, it's got the little thing in here. Little cup for water. It's got a front cover on it. This one's got two switches, two separate switches, um, you know, butane on, and then igniter. Um, it's a nice little soldering gun. It's got a kickstand, so you don't melt the uh, melt the box like I already did. Right there, you guys could see melted that with a soldering iron a while back. But uh, here, let me get the. Uh, Tape measure, this one measures out about uh, nine inches or so. And then here's the newer style one. It actually comes open. It's got one, two, three, four, five fittings. And it also comes with a little plastic weld thing that I never use, but uh, this one's pretty nice. It's got pretty much all plastic, it's rubberized. It's got the front protector on it used this one yesterday seemed uh, seemed really nice I always like to hit it with some sandpaper after every use but uh, it's got one switch it's like butane on and then go a little higher and that's the igniter on it this one measures out without the cover on it about nine inches so they're about the same length about the same diameter let's see side by side here yeah they're about the same size um, I got a different tip on this one. I got a flat tip on the newer style one. But uh, let's see how fast these things heat up, guys. We got the, uh, get these things set up. So this one, I got the thermo imager. This one here, you got to turn on and then ignite. I like to do it a couple times, make sure it does it. And then this one, you just push up and you, you'll actually see that inside there glow right away. Um, do notice that that one heats up a lot faster. Let's get this thing on.
All right, here's that one. It's already over 200. And then here's this one. That's not even at 100 yet. So I noticed that right away though. The newer one heats up a lot faster. Um, don't know how much butane it's going to end up using. This one, like I said, was a butane hog. I was constantly filling it up. You get about one or two uses out of it and then had to top it off with the butane. Um, I got a little test rig set up here. We'll see how long it takes for it to actually get hot enough to solder the wire. So we'll use the new one. It's probably ready to go already. Got some solder here. And almost right away, almost right away this thing was ready to go. What was that, not even a minute guys? Done. So, real nice. I really like it. I like the magnetic base on this one. It sticks to metal, it sticks to the base. You can set it in the base. I notice it doesn't have a kickstand, but you could always, uh, you know, when you're using it, just hook it up on the side, let it hang there. I don't know if that's far, far enough away to not melt things, but it's decent. I really like it so far. So I'll turn this one off. That one's already melting. Let's see if this one melts already. I got another side here. Let's see if this one's hot enough to solder it. Yeah, it'll melt. Yeah, this one's good. Kind of a bad angle here, but it's doing it. That's why I like the wider tips better. Hang on guys. Let's get this switched around. Solder it right up. So, they're both pretty nice. Um, I like them. I like them both. I do like the newer one a lot more. And then this one you turn off, you just pull it down, and that turns it off. So, but got a nice strong solder job there. Nice strong solder job on that one. But this one's nice. Comes in a handy little uh, case here. The, the mount for it. Comes with solder on there. You get all the pieces. You got all the pieces underneath here. The torch comes with the torch on the bottom to switch it out. But I like this one. And then this one's got the guard on the front of it. It comes with it, a little safety that makes sure the switch is off when you put it on. Same with this one. So you got the guard on that one too. But yeah, guys, quick comparison. I haven't used this one long enough, long term, to know, but uh, I could usually tell when something's built well. I could tell this one's uh, definitely a decent soldering iron. It's got the adjustment for the torch in the back. That's where you fill it back here. And then it's got a little gauge. You can tell how much butane you got left in there on the side here. But I like the rubberized. Snap-on's rubberized and grip and everything. And then the piece just comes off. You can unscrew it. It's still kind of hot. And then this one's got the little fuel gauge indicator up top here. It's just a little top portion. And then you also got the adjustment on the end there. And then you fill it at the top there. But both, both pretty great tools. Just figured I'd do a quick side-by-side -side on that in case you guys were looking to get one. Um, I'm not sure if you could still score these. I'll put the part numbers of these in the description. So yeah, guys, like I said, again, quick comparison on the two soldering irons. Um, maybe I'll do a review on the newer one once I use it a couple dozen times let you guys know how it holds up over time you know dropping in just shop environment stuff but uh, I like them both I'll, I'll still use them both maybe I could use one for home or have one for my tech or Lauren here uh, to use and then I could use the newer style one just like all my other tools I upgrade but as always guys if you like the video, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys got these. Let me know what you guys think of these solder and irons. You know, let other people know if they're worth buying or not. Comment, subscribe, like, share. 
We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.